All right. So here's the 3D print enclosure that I've been building. It is for my MK3. Uh, reason I built it is because some of the plastics that you print with like to print in hot temperatures better than cool temperatures. Uh, and drafts can make them split apart or peel off of the bed. Even a draft, just like air blowing out of a heating vent, something like that. The other reason is uh, there's some debate over how good or bad the fumes coming off of the plastic actually are for you. So if I have any control over that, why not err on the side of being too safe rather than possibly breathing stuff that could hurt me in the long run. Also, I've got a pet that has asthma, so in my best interest. Anyway, show some of the features. I've got two vent holes so my fan can suck air in, uh, like if I'm printing PLA and want to keep it cooler, or if I'm running ABS and want to keep it warmer, I have these little caps that I printed that can be added and removed. I have surgical masks over the holes so that one, you don't get drafts coming in and two, so that you don't get fumes and stuff going out but the fan can still pull air through them. Um, most of the time I'm going to keep one side on and maybe one side off for the ABS. As far as temperature control, uh, I've got this. Controls my lights. Then I've got this other switch. If I go this way, I don't know if you can hear, that turns the fan on. So I can manually vent the enclosure. Again, like if I'm printing PLA, or if it's at the end of an ABS print and I want to vent out the enclosure. Or I can flip it to here. And what this does is I set a specific temperature. Right now it's at 20. I want it to be higher. I want it to be about 40. So if I put it to 38, it'll actually trigger at 40 degrees Celsius. So now, uh, that fan will kick on if that temperature goes over 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I've got the vent running out the window. I can add or remove that, that board, that seal, pretty easily. Um, got my power strip inside. Also printed a cap to seal that. Uh, the smoke alarm is a smart smoke alarm. If there's ever smoke in there, it will disable the power to the entire enclosure. Uh, the enclosure itself is made out of cement board, and the window on the front is glass, so uh, minimizing fuel there if there's ever a fire. I don't really anticipate it, but again, I'd rather err on the side of being too safe. Um, it might not be fireproof, but it's definitely fire resistant. Anyway, I think I covered most of the details there. Got a nice seal on the door. The whole thing's pretty much airtight, other than the vents that are there to allow for venting anyway, which can be sealed themselves. Hope you enjoy.